Okay, in this video, uh, we're going to take a look at a question that actually came in from a prior video. So you may remember in some of my other uh, recordings, we have this resume application and we showed really how easy it is to create a, an a form that would let you upload a resume. Uh, but the question that came in is how can we do this uh, via an API? So in today's video, we're going to take a look at a couple things. This is our, our resume table. We've got two records in. Uh, we're going to create a REST API so that you can bulk load uh, blobs and the associated metadata uh, through an API. Now to do this, the first thing we're going to do is actually go into our, our RESTful data ser services over here. And we're going to register this schema with ORDS. That stands for Oracle REST Data Services. Um, and we'll go ahead and hit save. Okay, now once it's up, uh, what it's done is it's taken our tables. We can now begin to create REST endpoints. And the first thing we need to do that is to click on modules and we'll go ahead and create a new module. We'll call this resume and create it. With the module uh, created, now we're going to go over here and we're going to create a new template. So we'll create a template. Let's call this API. We'll create that. Now to start with, uh, now we can really begin creating our handlers, which are essentially our get and post calls. Um, and we're going to start with just a simple get call, so you can see how that is created. Uh, we'll go over here. We can make sure this is set to get. And our format is going to be JSON. We're going to set the pagination to 25. And we'll paste in our query. Click Create Handler. Now, if you want to test your query ahead of time, you can simply just go back to SQL Workshop and you can see what will return, right? Okay, uh, so that's our simple get call. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, do something a little bit more advanced, which is we're going to create a handler for our post call. So we'll click here and our post is going to enable us to upload both the blob and the metadata. So there's a couple things. Uh, since our, our application here really consumes PDF, and Word documents, we're going to want to make sure we include uh, certain MIME types as approved. So we're going to put those right here. Okay, now down here we're going to drop in our PLSQL procedure. Now this is a lot of code. So what I'm going to do is step back out into our uh, Apex demo over here and I'll kind of walk you through. Uh, so this code here at the top here, we're going to define some variables. These are essentially the, the fields that we're going to need to pull from our parameters, um, uh, things like the title or the file name or who submitted it. Um, uh, we also have a custom exception here called invalid MIME type um, in case we, we, we do a check on our MIME type and it's not correct. Um, next, we're going to see this, these are the bind variables. So colon title will actually pull in the, the, the information and put it into the underscore title variable and we'll get this. Uh, we're going to do a quick, uh, for our MIME type, we're going to first check to make sure it's one of the approved MIME types. And so this will actually match. And what this does right here is make sure that the no metadata is inserted into the table if the MIME type isn't correct. Uh, not only the first check was to make sure that the binary information didn't go in, this is to make sure none of the metadata goes in. We basically, um, next we're just going to do a quick check because we want it to be mandatory that all the metadata field is there, such as title, file name, who submitted it, and, and the MIME type. Um, so we're going to go ahead here and say, if it's null, we're going to raise these, these errors down here so no data found. And so these are kind of our exceptions uh, down here. You'll see that if an exception is, is hit, we will essentially print back a JSON response that will tell us what the error is or enable the person to have a, a better understanding of what happened. Um, but if everything is good, uh, the first thing we're going to do is pull our, our system date into when the file was created in the database. Uh, so this is the created on field in that table. We'll grab that from the sys date. Uh, and then we're going to essentially insert into the resume tables these values. Now the secret sauce here is really uh, with the body tag. Uh, colon body will actually pull the binary information. Uh, that's kind of all preset up with words uh, in Apex. Um, and we'll insert that along with the, the metadata around it into our resume table. And then we're going to return the doc ID. Now, interestingly enough, the doc ID is created based on a trigger. Um, so this is how we can return that doc ID. And one of the things that we'll use that doc ID for uh, is to put it in our response in case somebody wanted to field it and then hit our get call. So if everything is successful, uh, we have a 201 and we'll return this, this code. But uh, that's what the that's what that code is doing right there. So go ahead and hit create handler. 
Well, now we're ready to test our APIs. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is build a uh, test our Git call. So we're going to go up here to our full URL and copy it. Uh, we're going to go out to Postman, and we're going to create a new collection. So we'll go ahead and just name this collection. All right, we're going to add our first request, which will be a Git request here. So we'll go ahead and say, Get resume and we'll paste in that endpoint. I'll hit save and hit send. So this will query that table and bring back a JSON response with the, as you can see, the two records uh, based on the query we created earlier. And now it comes to fun. So now we can create another request. This one we're going to set as post. All right. I'm just going to hit save real quick to make sure. It where to go. Give it a name. Okay, and we need to go back. Now, this will be the same endpoint, but really you want to make sure you get your full URL path. Go back to Postman and drop that in. And then uh, our first step is to begin creating parameters. So we have to create parameters that match the input variables in our code. So if I look out here, uh, for example, we need to create a parameter called title. So I'd essentially grab that, put it here, and for our test, I could enter some sample data. And we'll repeat this pattern for each of our metadata uh, parameters. So we've repeated for file name, for example, submitted by and mime type. All right, I'll just save this real quick. Now you notice I didn't put in uh, file name and mind type. What we're gonna do next is go over to our body and we're gonna change this type to binary. So we wanna make sure that we upload binary data. Uh, and this is our that, that body tag. We're gonna go ahead and select our file here. I'm just gonna copy the file name for a minute, our example. Go back to our parameters, type that in. Um, and then the cool thing is the MIME type. Uh, one of the nice things about Postman is when you are using that, that binary, it'll, it'll pick it up. So you can see this is application MS Word. Drop that in, we'll hit save, and we should be ready to test. All right, we can see um, the document was inserted with the doc ID of 242. So let's go back and take a look. And here we can see chip resume four went up mime type with the binary data. And that's how you can create a REST API to upload um, a blob into your table.